Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of After 90. Marie Papadakis alongside Eric Giacometti. It was a 1-0 loss for Toronto FC in the first leg of the Canadian Championship Finals here at Stad Saputo. Now, connectivity and loss of possession were something Greg Vanny mentioned in his post-game scrum today. How do you think the team performed tonight? Yeah, I think that's a pretty spot-on analysis of what happened tonight. The team did look like they weren't quite as sharp as they have been over the course of this nine-game unbeaten streak, which unfortunately has ended tonight here in Montreal. Uh, you could maybe see some heavy legs. I think the guys were under a little bit physically, coming off of a quick turnaround, playing against the Rapids at home just three days ago, and then having to deal with the travel and coming here to Montreal in a tough game. Uh, I thought it was an interesting battle in the first half, Montreal coming out with more of the possession. Typically a team that doesn't like to have the ball, more of a counter-attacking team. In the second half, that obviously flipped. Toronto was able to create some more chances. Josie Altidore and Alejandro Pozuela coming in trying to influence the game. Unfortunately, they couldn't get that equalizer in that away goal. But going back to BMO Field, you know that's where they play their best football. And we, we know that Toronto C can overturn results against Montreal. Look back to the 2016 Eastern Conference Finals where they were able to overturn a result. So not the end of the world coming back with the 1-0. Can we talk about Justin Morrow's performance tonight, coming off an injury and getting the start? Yeah, it was great to see J-Mo back on the field. What he brings to the team in, in terms of the back line it certainly solidifies things on the left side. And in, in the attack, what he can bring. Auro Jr. has been sliding in in his absence, but not a naturally left-footed player. Uh, what Justin Moore was able to do is kind of connect into that left wing, pro provide service into the middle, and I thought you saw a lot of that tonight. In the midst of seven games in 22 days, we're going to be seeing a lot of different squad rotations, especially heading into LAFC this weekend. So how do you think it's made Greg Vanny's job a little bit harder going into this stretch of games? Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. I mean, the, the, the games are coming quick and fast, and it's the most important time of the year, obviously. Toronto FC looking to maintain their spot in the table in the Eastern Conference fourth place which would see them host a playoff game but they have to obviously balance this Canadian championship they're going to go home and defend their title and try to win this thing for the fourth straight time so we saw a little bit of squad rotation guys like Patrick Mullins uh, Drew Moore Laurent Simon getting into the team it'll be interesting to see how he plays it now against LAFC a cross-country flight again on short rest playing against the best team in the league in their house it's going to be a tough one it's certainly a tall task for Toronto FC. Building off of every performance has been something Toronto FC has mentioned over and over again so how do you think they can build off of this performance in like one tonight? Yeah, like I said, going back to Toronto, is it's not the end of the world when you look at a 1-0 result. Certainly capable of scoring multiple goals. You know, maybe not a perfect performance tonight, not at their best. Uh, but when you look at the fact that they can go back to Toronto and, and play in front of the home fans where they've done so well this season, uh, if they can manage to, to squeak out a result in L.A., maybe get a, a road draw and keep themselves afloat in the league table, and then they can come back fully rested and ready to go for a, a tough second leg against Montreal. Well, Toronto FC returns to MLS action this Saturday as they take on LAFC at 10.30 p.m. on TSN, so make sure you tune in to watch your Reds on the road.